Many of you are showing us what you're seeing. We have more amazing videos and photos from our viewers showing us the devastation. From the air in Washington County, you sent in drone video of Route 302 in Berlin. Flooded roads, cars and buildings. The Big Lots shopping plaza full of water, not carts. In neighboring Barrie, a similar site. Main Street underwater this morning at 6 a.m. People unable to get into or out of the city. The view from the sky showing the magnitude of the flooding in the Granite City. And on the ground, a lone frog spotted part of the artwork in the downtown now floating in the floodwaters. Heading into downtown Montpelier, flooding from the skies too. The city closed off there too. The bird's eye view showing just how far the Winooski and North Branch Rivers jumped their banks, spilling into the capital city. Drone video also showing downtown Waterbury underwater too. Reminiscent of tropical storm Irene. Residents there have done this before. And on the ground in Waterbury, flooding over the road and a car on its side spotted in the water. Somebody's going to have to clean up the brook from this. Strong water in Washington, wiping out more than just roads there. Witnesses watching as the shed was crushed under the bridge. <laughs> And then a trailer, too. That's pretty decent. Rushing water cutting across the remnants of Bliss Pond Road in Callis. You can see people cut off there from each other. And Moscow Woods Road in Callis, a gaping canyon right now with the road and much of the dirt under it washed away. Haggett Road in Callis, also wiped out. And residents in Adamant waking up to water, making new paths right by their homes this morning. Over to Lamoille County, water going the wrong way over the road at the wrong way bridge in Cambridge instead of under it. The Lamoille River at Oxbow Park in Morrisville, more of an ocean, jumping its banks and flooding that area. People won't be playing there for a while. In Caledonia County, the culvert on Hardwick Farms Road in East Hardwick, unable to handle the strong water. In Orleans County, water over Airport Road in Newport and Coventry. In Orange County, flooded farm fields at Howacres in Tunbridge. In Windsor County, video of some of the damage in Reading. The ground right up to that home wiped away by the storm's wrath. In Wyndham County, rushing water still covering part of the road near Stratton Mountain and Bonville. Debris on the roads in those areas, making them look more like the bottoms of streams. To Rutland County, where the Mead Falls are thundering, powerful water flowing over. And the Sutherland Falls in Proctor, a similar site. Water flowing stronger there than many have ever seen it before.